Now you'll see we have two stations or two verticals on our screen. Let's add one more station. For this, our location is 20 feet. What's nice is that the flow tracker remembered I was incrementing in one foot intervals, so it automatically defaulted to 20. Let's check the depth. It looks like we're at 1.62. So I'm going to enter 1.62. We're still in open water. Uh, our velocity method is uh, 0.6, but I'm going to show us how to do a 0.2 or a 0.8 measurement. That is a two-point measurement per vertical. Once we get deep enough, it, it's more um, proper to do it this way. Correction factor one, comments, gauge height if you want, hit measure. Now it doesn't really matter in what order you do these two-point measurements. You could do the shallow one first or the deeper one first. The flow tracker will actually remember which one you've done and in a stepwise fashion prompt the easiest one. Uh, in this case, uh, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to choose the point 0.2 method first. Uh, once again, it's just a nice help to have that waiting rod handle on the screen. It's telling me to line the 3 up with the 2.4. So here's our 3. Does my waiting rod handle look like the graphic? I think so. Does my beam check look good? Yes. Am I holding the instrument level according to this green bubble level? It's still green, so yep. Oop. Yep, we're good. What's my flow angle? Still kind of variable here at the edge, so that's normal. Let's hit start. Now we're collecting our 40 second velocity data. We can see the velocities. We can verify the SNRs. I don't see any blockages. I don't see any signal strength spikes or drops. That's good. Temperature looks constant. Tilt looks good. Got our velocity angle and battery. Looks good. So you can see in this way, because I have all of this information in real time, I'm even QCing the data during the measurement. The measurement is done. The flow tracker automatically shows me the data. Let me scroll down and review, review that data. I don't have any QC warnings. Looks good to me. I'll hit the accept button. Now we're ready for the second point in that measurement, the 0.8 measurement. I'm going to select that, and the flow tracker is guiding me that I need to put the rod a little bit farther down. I'm going to line that zero up with the 8.1. So the zero on the small diameter rod is going to line up with 8.1. my waiting rod handle look like the graphic? Yes. How's my beam check? Looks good. Signal strength looks good. I'm holding the instrument pretty level. That's good. Uh, our flow is starting to stabilize a little bit. Uh, the arrow's green and not fluctuating quite as much. Looks within reason. I'll hit start. Again, I can view the velocities as they're coming in in real time. The X velocities, the downstream velocities, and the Y velocities, the cross-stream velocities. We can see both of those with the flow tracker. Keeping it level, I'm looking at that bubble level. SNRs are still good. Flow tracker lets me know my measurement is done. 
I don't see any QC errors. Data looks reasonable. I'm going to hit accept. So now we've seen a two-point measurement.